Hey, what's up? Good morning. Uh, yeah, it is early in the morning. I found a space to do a video. So, a short continuation of yesterday. On the record player is Ropes Act. AR and Bone had released from, I think, two years ago. Persona Integra. Ingratia. Or something like that. Latin. No struggle with that shit. Uh, the playlist for today, um, if you want to check it out or not, that's completely up to you. It's uh, some heavy shit I pulled out of this bin. Uh, Primitive Man with Home is Where the Hatred Is, uh, which is a fabulous album that came out on Roadburn, I think, two years ago or three years ago by now, uh, where we, uh, Hypertension, got tanked in the tank list. So this is a special one for me. Uh, another Roadburn related band is Indian from All Purity, one of the most nasty bands I ever saw live. They're even nastier than um, than I hate God at some points. And then uh, of course Hatred for All Mankind which is uh, yeah teamed perfectly. There you go, John in the lights. Good playlist. Uh, the sun is shining, so why not do some darkness? Before I dive into this mini stack, I have this. I pulled out some 7 inches. Uh, there is a uh, new record on Werewolf Records, the Morketida. Uh, Morketida, yes. It's called Untouched Voids. Now, I'm not going to get it because I'm out of funding for now, uh, and it will show up and get repressed, but I enjoyed these guys uh, very, very much. I I'm not sure if I can pull out their record. Of course you can, Tom. Believe in yourself. Van Hagen, mysticism from, I don't know, maybe also one or two years ago, uh, which I really enjoyed. Uh, more slowed down, Finnish, black, doom elements, um, as far as I can remember. Now this one is more of a multicolored thing, so I listened to one preview track, The Descent of Purple Mist, but I got cut off um, listening. Now, what we are going to do today, or what I'm going to show you today, is uh, 7 inches, which um, I keep harping on, but I have a closet full or a cabin full. Uh, I have Tao and the body for you. I uh, showed the 10 inch from Tao, which got a lot of good responses and good reactions. So we'll dive into these. Um, the first one is the body and white horse, just wretched, pierced, reprisal, and I had these for for ages. Because one of the first things that got logged into Discogs in my collection is Tao and the body. And there you go. Um, Almor, I think, and Sweat One. It's just a black. 7-inch. Uh, the Body, Chip King and Lee Buford, two guys from Providence, Rhode Island, I think. Maybe they're important right now. I'm not sure. They uh, they have a, a metric fuck ton of albums, so uh, yeah, it is a very heavy, droney sludge, very slow sludge uh, with these high-pitched crazy vocals, but like Lee Guanyota is on their album and uh, I guess the guys from Full of Hell because they did collaborations, so yeah, there's a lot on there. This is the Everybody Goes As Far As They Can from the Body Holocaust by Big Star and Abandoned by God. So this is a Sisters in Christ release, I think for... Is it on here? No. I think for Record Store Day uh, one year. It is a fall over. There you go. Comes with a Sisters in Christ. Uh, Punks inlay, the shop in Baton Rouge, New Orleans. I think it's Baton Rouge. Uh, doesn't say. And this is a uh, large hole, 45. That's a nice artwork. There you go. What's up, folks? Um, yeah. So I got the message that people enjoy these. Um, little updates, so why not do them. I'll try to keep these short because maybe tonight or tomorrow night I'll delve back into the collection. Uh, then Cop Killers and Dead Cops for Sean, lyrics by Body Count and MDC, Villains of Dead Cops. Corleone Records. This is an OB stripped, just white with an A stamped. And then the last thing is the body get killed split 
also on Corleone. These are uh, early pickups. I'm not going to open this because it has that Tau CD thing where the uh, unhandy OB goes round. And speaking about unhandy OB things, this is Tau 7-inch output. I, uh, I have a split first and that's the Black September Triton DK. Under the Rising and Smoke Pigs by Tau. A shitload of labels on this one. Just black. Shaman, Kniff B, Buried in Hell, Injustice of Humanity, Halo Flies, and One Eye Record. So, six labels for one seven inch. That isn't communism, I don't know what it is. Tribe and Decay, the hammer that I once brought down now hover, hovers over me. Okay, there we go. Very cool. Okay, this was around the summon period, I think, looking at the artwork. The black and white stuff. So this, they always have uh, seriously good artwork. Talk to cops in a language they understand. I think I got this from Rink, or maybe it was in here. I know Rink once gave me one of these. My buddy. An axe and a sword. It's black smeared or black smoky uh, red vinyl Tau is a yeah also a yeah maybe the sludge bat for me um, you can debate all you want but one of the bands that got me into um, stuff like this for sure um, yeah very slow very marshy sludgy you can hear you can almost hear there from New Orleans but I uh, yeah I talked a lot about them. This is again one of those seven inches that were uh, released for record store day. And this is a very sturdy card, almost cardboard. Slipcase. Only you deserve conceit. They always have the best lyrics and songs. November 2013 recorded at Loyola University, New Orleans. Nothing much info wise on here. This is a very thick 7 inches. So thick that you would think it's 2 7 inches, but it is one. In a Sea of Sorrow, um, and vinyl is my sexuality. It even has a Sisters in Christ adapter in there, which is very neat. I hustled a bit for these because I'm not sure they popped up uh, on European soil at that time. I saw one going up on Discord for like 50 uh, the day off. It was when Record Store Day was, I mean, still in full swing, I don't know. But these were, or like Sisters in Christ, were one of those labels that countered uh, Record Store Day with their own releases and put them out. But I think I mailed Brian for this one and he just sent me one with a bunch of shit and flyers and stuff like that. Uh, then a later one. I think for them, and this is uh, on the same label that did the box, Hell Comes Home. This is a, if I'm not mistaken, a Pearl Jam. No, how did I get Pearl Jam? To the furnace where I'll break you, Wing Walker by Great Falls, and Prayer to God by Tau. Oh, so it's a split. Shallock, oh, okay. How did I get Pearl Jam? What the fuck? They do a lot of slut, uh, grunge covers, like Nirvana's one of their top bands. They do minor treads. Um, I've seen them do a cover sets uh, of the Misfits. So yeah, they um, <clears throat> they have a lot of shit going on live. But for the life of me, I don't know why I got to Pearl Jam. Uh, but yeah, this is maybe artwork-wise my least favorite by them. No, the screen printer. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, we're going back in time. I'll show this one first and then round up with the force. Uh, Helcom's Home was a label I got on my radar through this box a few, well, more than a few years ago. Um, the, they did a compilation box with um, a lot of 7 inches in here. 
and they all have these weird, you know, insect-like, uh, yeah, covers. Uh, that elephant and the rabbits, the fucking rat and dope fight, black sun and tropes, Ducatalon writes the Swan King and Delusion, Coffin Worm, which I love, Vistula, which I love, Burning Love and Fight Amp, Pyramido, Union of Sleep, Akaname and the Lesbian Fungal Abyss. There's Phosphorus or something like that, Great Falls, and then we have um, Ultra Phallus by. Uh, no, Ultra Phallus and Suma. And then the one I got it for is Tao and Naolun or Kaolun Wall City. This is the first one. So yeah, that was a cool box. It came with uh, this, it came with a t-shirt and then a big sticker. And it was like one of the first subscription series I ever uh, I ever saw or I ever well took part in, of course, because I don't like these description stuff, uh, these subscription kind of things. Did it a few times, but not really. Uh, then a Fair Quarrel, one of their older ones. Comes with an OB that I just put in there, like so. It says a split release between Human Intruder, Bayern, Germany, and Tau Baton Rouge, Louisiana from Dead Bird Records. Um, again, a three part fallout. Very cool pictures and artwork. It's been for ages since I looked at these. So, human intruder, and I know that Obi is going to kill it, so I'll put this in later. Then, this one is maybe my favorite one, Hell and Tao, the split. This is a uh, letter stamped or letter pressed, so I don't know how that will show up, but it's Hell with Sheol, and then Tao with ordinary people, I think. Say anything anywhere. Resurrection Bay is what it's called. The uh, seven inch, but I'm not sure. There we go. The spine is cracked a bit. It uh, of course comes with this great letter pressed OB, and maybe when I flicker it into the lights, we'll do that again for the insert. You can see it better. I'm not sure. Um, this comes with a, or came with a patch, I'm not sure if this was original because I threw every patch I have into a record, but um, this looks old enough, I don't remember this one, so maybe it was in here for sure. White, white vinyl, with some dust on it, of course. So yeah, very cool little release. And then the two first things I got from Pau is, um, are these two. This is harp and tau, and this is I have to go to, to carry a stone. So this was one of their EPs, I guess. Let's do the harp first. This is like a uh, yeah a booklet. This reminded me of Captaxis uh, booklets and stuff like that. You know the cool artwork on the front with a booklet stapled into it and zine black and white pictures, New Orleans after the flood. So it spoke to the imagination um, of a younger Tom. There's a lot of stuff in here, man. This is always cool to see. And I remembered this really got to me, the, um, the crosses and the numbers. It had, um, they spray painted the, the walls of the houses so you know that who was sick in there, who was needed help, I think, and, and how many dead were in there and stuff like that. So, yeah. Quite a um, quite a sick thing. It came with this medieval inspired Durich poster. I think it's just lifted from Durich. And then the record itself is a orangey red. I think this came in a few um, came in a few colors, but I'm not sure. Or maybe this came in a few colors. I think this one, the uh, the DP to carry a stone. Once again, this was um, this is like silver printed. There's the back. 
with a, um, a windmill on top. These are all, and these are all really nice. You can feel the handcrafted stuff in here. I like that. I like that a lot. What's this? Baptism commandments. So yeah, these these have been used to death. Paul and Tito used these a ton of other bands, but. There you go, that was the last one. This was my first, after the 10 inch, this was my first Tau release I ever got in. Been following them ever since uh, they played Robin last year, I think, and it was glorious. I had a breakdown right there, right then. Um, so yeah, that's it. I talked about the playlist. I talked about, what else? Oh yeah, the Morquetita, which uh, looks very promising. So yeah, another small little update. Um, there was the Skikirai performance yesterday, I uh, clocked in at 2100. Yeah, it was a lot of setup for half an hour, I think, but it sounded great. Uh, it was the more dungeon synth part of um, that circle, so I hope they do a uh, Blood Tyrant session maybe or something like that, or a Val session, I'm not sure. Record's done, I'm done uh, babbling, I'll see you tomorrow with something new, and I think it's going to be a longer one because we need to blast through this collection. We don't need to do anything, but you know what I'm saying. Going to drink coffee and have a Sunday. Peace.